we, we know that the center is important, and Ron and I are very pleased to be able to support the center in any way that we can. And I know I've clearly by your presence today, you feel the same way. We're also very pleased that Karen Williams has agreed to perform at this year's uh, uh, garden party. And I'd like to introduce her now, Cleveland's own Karen Williams. any black people since I crossed Cedar. So uh, I gotta make friends with all of you really quickly because uh, we don't do too well with large bodies of water close by. But anyway, uh, I'm really glad to be here and uh, in support of the center, the LGBTQICA Center. That's lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, Q for queer, I for intersex, C for curious, who isn't curious people? That's what I'm scared of. And A for allies, that's a lot to say, isn't it? I'll just be glad one day when we can say human beings. How about that, huh? Human beings, what a concept. Just because that's a lot to say. I just hope nobody else comes out. I just, uh, really, it's just too much to say. And, uh, but really, the people that need to come out are the people with money. If you notice, they don't come out. Uh, some of you are here at Bill's. What is Bill's partner's name? Ron. Bill and Ron's place. And uh, some of us are not going to leave. Some of us are not going to leave. I myself am going to hide in one of those bedrooms and come out in the morning and make them breakfast. Um, act like they hired me in a drunken stupor. And I'm never leaving. How about you? Uh, I know none of the white people can really do that. But uh, <laughs> I can still do that. I can still act like the cook or the maid or something. And uh, I, I have to be careful with the things I say because some of you get sensitive. I say things about being black and I can feel the white guilt just tightening up your sphincters. Just why does she have to go there? There are just eight black people here. I asked them to stay, please spread out. I don't know why people cluster. I don't know, the black people are just as scared as I am. I have my friends are close by just in case we have to run because that's how it is when you're black. If I see my sister go like this, I'm out of here. White people ask too many questions. What's going on? What happened? Where's, what's going on? Black people will be gone. You'll be looking for us, we'll be in our cars. Swimming across, no, we won't be swimming. We'll be in the cars because we still, we've been free for 400 years now, but we still can't swim. I don't know why that happened. It's a beautiful property, but we don't need the water. That's all I want to say. We don't need the water. Have you seen the young people out there? Those girls out there, I have to speak to the lesbians. I have to speak to the, how many lesbians are here? Okay, eight. So anyway, uh, the rest of you are just passing as lesbians. That's okay. We don't mind. Uh, you know, I moved to the Cleveland area from San Francisco. I have to tell you, let's have a moment of silence for that tragic move. I was stoned. But anyway, uh, and I came here, I thought every woman in jeans, a plaid shirt, and Birkenstocks was a lesbian. But they call them farmers here. Um, so I was really confused. I was walking around the stores, kind of winking at all the women. And people were walking up to me, giving me little eye wash and stuff like that because, well, see, some of you guys don't get that, but that's how lesbians get our women. We stare them down with that lesbo stare. That's how we get our women. That's why so many of us have to wear glasses as we get older. Our eyes are just worn out. And some of you guys, you don't know these tips. You're not gonna hear this on Oprah, not till Oprah and Gail come out. But anyway, uh, <laughs> Three people clap, why? Because they know Oprah, right? <laughs> you know, people are so attached to whether or not Oprah comes out. Who gives a shit? I just want to come here, and I don't want her to buy me a car, I want her to buy me. You know what I'm saying? Car. Anyway, uh, that's just, you know, this is so exciting to have this, all of this attention right here. Uh, you know, the camera's flashing, it's like, yeah, you know, real paparazzi, one white guy with a camera. Okay, that's how I know I've arrived, people. One white guy with a camera by a lake that I can't swim in, and only eight black people here to protect me. Anyway, life goes on. So since we bonded and we're close, I'm gonna tell you how lesbians make love. Two or more lesbians sit in front 
of a crackling fireplace, unless they're in the projects, um, <laughs> staring into each other's eyes while they read a book of poetry. And when one of them turns the page, they come. <laughs> uh, I was disappointed too. I have to let you know, I, I thought there was more, but that's it, people. That's what we're doing up there. The white guys got all the money, the lesbians got the books. And that's what we're doing. It's, it's not exciting, but you know, it's not easy being a lesbian because, I mean, let's face it. I mean, you know, a guy pulls out a condom, it's obvious what body part it's for. We're stuck with something for your teeth. What the hell is a dental dam, ladies? I, I've been going to the dentist for eons. I have never seen a dental dam. It's like you two can be a person of color because they come in fabulous colors, lime green, pastel pink, purple, which is our favorite color. And they even come in flavors, but I have to tell you, when I want pussy, I don't want spearmint. It's just a matter of taste. Look, the guys aren't even sure if they should laugh. She said the P word. Oh my God, I need a drink. It's terrible. You know, we're so cute anyway. Women don't usually say that. All the women are like, oh no, she didn't say that. Because they, sh she should have said Kit Kat. Because that's what we call it, Kit Kat. We have all kinds of little pet names for it. Kit Kat, it's very cute. Except we're grown ups now. We really can say the biological terms. Are there any questions?